In this video we're going to complete example 2 and in this example we are labeling fractions on number lines. Okay so looking at question A it says to label four fifths on the number line below. So this fraction is going to be somewhere between the 0 and the 1 and what you do is you look at the denominator. The denominator is 5 and we learn that if it's a denominator of 5 you cut your shape into 5 pieces. Alright, so what we'll do is I'm actually going to draw 4 lines equally spaced between the 0 and the 1 like so. So if the denominator is 5 how come I only drew four lines? Well, the reason for that is because the fifth line actually lands right on the one. So we don't need to draw the fifth line because it's already got a line there. Okay, so where is four fifths on this line? Well, I'll show you where one fifth is. I'll, I'll, the first line represents one over five. The second line represents two over five. The third line represents 3 over 5 and the fourth line represents 4 over 5. So I'm just going to rub all these off because we only needed to label 4 fifths on this number line. Okay, just out of interest, what do you think the number 1 would be? What would you label there for a fraction? Well, that one would be 5 over 5 because that's where the fifth line goes. All right, let's do question B now. It wants you to label one and three fifths. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw four lines again, this time between the one and the two. One, two, three, four. Okay, and one and three fifths is the third line in. So I count one, two, three. So I'm going to label this one as one and three fifths. Let's now move on to question C. You'll notice that the denominator has changed for question C. Our denominator is three this time. For question D it is also going to be a three. You'll also notice that we have negative fractions this time. So negative two thirds is going to be between the zero and the negative one. So because the denominator is 3, I'm going to draw two lines this time, equally spaced apart between the 0 and the negative 1. Once again, I only need two because the third one technically lands on the negative 1, so I don't need to draw the third line. Okay, so the first purple line is negative 1 third, and then the second one is negative 2 thirds, which is the fraction that we wanted here. Okay, let's look at the next one, question D. It wants you to label negative 1 and a third. So this time it's going between negative 1 and negative 2. So I'm going to draw two lines again, 1, 2, equally spaced apart. In fact, I'm not very happy with it. I'm going to rub one out because it doesn't look like it was equally spaced. I'll go with these two here. Where is negative 1 and the third going to go? Well, it's going to go here, negative 1 and 1 third, because this is the first line after the negative 1. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 2. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.